Today was an historical day in veterinary medicine here in Bay County. The first ever in-clinic animal stem cell procedure in the state of Florida took place at the Panama City Beaches Animal Care Center. In fact, there were two procedures. And as News Channel 7's Alexandra Hill tells us, the results could revolutionize health care treatment for pets. For two dogs, Hummer and Rascal, Friday morning was no ordinary trip to the vet. The two dogs are actually guinea pigs in the first ever in-clinic animal stem cell procedure in Florida. But don't use that term with them. They prefer Labrador and Collie mix. Got him six weeks old. Had him ever since then. He's just incredible. He's my husband's best friend. They do everything together. But doing everything has become more difficult. Both animals are now in a constant state of pain. 11-year-old Rascal suffers from osteoarthritis in both of his hips and has knee problems. Hummer has a hard time just getting up. Hummer is now 7 years old and has suffered from hip dysplasia since he was just a puppy. So they're hoping this new stem cell therapy will bring him back to just that, his puppy-like mentality. And so this just seemed like a real opportunity to try something that could really help him, something that was affordable for us and may really improve the quality of his life. So off and then under, the dogs went for an in-clinic adult stem cell therapy procedure that's only been performed in five states since June. And the kicker is, it only takes three hours to complete. It's a new technology. We're using the body's repair system and we're getting it from their fat. We're just taking a little bit of fat, processing it, activating those stem cells, these repair cells, and then giving them back to the animal. So far, this therapy has been tested on cats, dogs, and horses, and the results have been quite positive. I scoured the globe. I'm the biggest skeptic there is. And looking for cases where adult stem cells derived from fat hurt a human, hurt a laboratory animal, hurt a dog, a cat, a horse, you can't find any. Just you know, providing you know, better quality of life for some of our animals out there, that's our number one goal, and you know, that's what we hope to achieve. And at around $1,800, it's about half the cost of other procedures. I believe in two to three years, this will be the standard of care in every veterinary practice around North America. The standard of care. In Panama City Beach, Alexandra Hill, News Channel 7. And to update you on both Rascal and Hummer's conditions, veterinarians say the procedures went according to plan, and both dogs are now home and recovering.